So tell us about this book reveal. We're inside now, and sure. you know. So this is where we welcome people and we kind of give them an intro video. And it's uh, personalized to Shaker Heights. And this book mobile has been all all over. All over. We were just in Canada. It goes east coast, west coast, Midwest. Wow. And how all big is this? Uh, this is a 74 foot long 18 wheeler. Wow, that's something. Okay. So here we have some people uh, checking out, kind of browsing the library's website, and sampling ebooks and audiobooks. So it allows patrons a really user interactive experience to get acquainted with the library download service. Now I got to ask you, what what do librarians think about this? They think, well, this is putting us out of business, or the ones we meet seem to really like it. <laughs> but um, overall, there's been a very positive response to this. It's it's not going to replace physical books or libraries. It's right. just a good complement to help keep them up with the technology. And actually, it's great because it helps um, reignite people's interest in the library. All right, so here's Audiobook Alley, and as we come down. We've got um, Audiobook Alley and the ebook experience. E like I said, we've got these computers which have um, links to the library's website and they also have sample ebooks. So, this is what the Adobe software is going to look like. And then we have sample audiobooks. And there's all kinds of formats there's PDFs right, there's, and Mobi. And, right. You know, how, how does that? How does someone know what to choose or what? So basically, there's the Kindle format, which is specific for Kindle devices, and then there's just the Adobe EPUB and PDF formats, and the, those will work on the um, computers. And then when you do the mobile site, it'll only show you apps that are compatible, okay. or show you formats that are compatible. All right. So, uh, pretty much a novice will be able to get on to get the CleanNet or whatever site and be able to figure this out without much hassle. Exactly. Okay. Then we've got some other. Nice More stuff here, digital bookmobile, and this is this looks really interesting. Gadget gallery because everyone's got non-PC yeah. devices for their reading and exactly. browsing. So this is a gadget gallery. It just shows people um, a small sample of the different devices that they are able to use with the service. So even on their smartphones, people can go 24/7 to their library, grab content. Absolutely. And uh, smartphones, tablets, readers. And the software is free? The software is free. And the library card is free? The library card is free. It's all free for the patrons. So, so, so what's, the, what's the downside? Whoa. I mean, it's, it's basically you just got to get the word out to people. You got a terrific gotta opportunity get the word here. Out to people. And, you know, there's a learning curve with some people, but once they get it, they're good to go. Oh, yeah. In your experience of traveling around the country and, and beyond with the book mobile, are there any devices that people seem to really be leaning toward now for their favorite readers? Yeah, the Kindle is uh, what we see most often as far as yeah. their e-readers, especially the new Kindle Fire tablet. But I mean, the Apple iPod, the iPhone, and like the Barnes and Noble Nook, those are some of the more popular devices. But we see all kinds. And is there a certain type of content that you know are people reading? Nonfiction or bestsellers. People or, are really uh, people really like the nonfiction. Children is very popular, and romance is actually the most popular format, really? the most that's, popular genre. So. That's something. Yeah. All right. So, what's the process? Take us through a process. I've got a library card, and I get online to my Clevenet account. Sure. So you just go to the Clevenet website. You are able to browse through their collection. Um, you can do like a quick search and advanced search. There's categories on the website, and then you just find a book you want. You add it to your cart. I believe in Cleveland it's called your select list. You'll check it out using entering your library card number in, and then you'll download it. And based on the device, um, there's different ways to download it. Now, one of the hassles of regular books, and I don't know if we call them analog devices or, or you know, the old-fashioned books, you have to get them back on time. You have to return them, or you pay a fine, and you know, you have late fees and all that stuff, and you have to worry about getting them back right. to the library. How's that different in the digital world? This is never any late fees because the books automatically return themselves. So at that no lending period, you don't have to worry about anything. They'll just go back into the library's collection. So that's that's really convenient too. Mm -hmm. Now, where does the OverDrive software is is between the customer and the the library content, right? Tell Correct. us about that. Right. So the based on the device, like I said, whether it's a computer or a tablet or a smartphone. So for tablets and smartphones, you just download the application. So the books come off the library's website and they'll download into the app. Recap. Anyone can get a free library card. They can log on from any internet enabled device. Exactly. It's free software, overdrive software, browse the catalog, search, and have those device those, that content delivered to their device for free. And then when they're done consuming it, it's removed from their device for free, no returning, no yes. hassles like that. Yep. That's terrific. All right, Dan, what do you read on? What, what's your favorite device? I read 
on a Kindle, but we're not supposed to really give product recommendations, <laughs> but it was just what worked out the best for my life and all the travel that I'm doing. Sure. And what, what kind of content do you like the best? I read the um, nonfiction titles, different, yeah, different stuff. All right, well, I'm going to browse around the gadget gallery here because this is what's new and exciting. Awesome. Here, we, here we got a happy young man with his iPad. So you're going to grab some uh, e-books when you get home? Mm -hmm. All right. All this right. is awesome. Here we are at the Overdrive Bookmobile, Shaker Heights, Ohio. And here's one happy, happy customer.